now we are learning the point rasterization and rendering from the unit number one this is the we can say in the sub part we are learning what is mean by the rasterization or process of rasterization and then we are learning what is mean by the rendering <music>
and generally this particular line suppose i am drawing the line which is diagonal line or i am drawing the line which is considered as a a horizontal line suppose i am drawing the line from a to b okay, i call it as horizontal line i am drawing the line which is vertical line a to c this line okay, a to c means the line if it is vertical if the line it is considered as a horizontal or the line which is considered as a diagonal okay so that line is diagonal in all these cases i call it as it is these are the special cases okay so what we have mentioned is we have considered these are the special cases where the rasterization is not that much important or it is not required okay the rasterization is not required because i am having that in for a to b only x is incremented by 1 okay the y value will remain zero as it is for whereas for a to c if i am considering the line from a to c only you can find the y value is incremented x value remains as it is for diagonal line both are incremented by 1 so there is the less scope for the determination or to determine which is the best pixel okay but now just consider this case now we are considering the any general line okay now i want to draw the line from a this is my starting point of the line okay from starting point of the line i want to draw the line up to this okay this is my end of the line okay, starting point and end point so i want to draw the line a to b okay now here i think before i just explain this you just look at this this is this particular dot is considered my address point zero zero this is my zero zero actually yeah i will add this pixel is addressed by zero zero so we have written it as addressable point this is my addressable point but actual picture element or the pixel is this is my address okay, addressable point but actual pixel i am going to activate is this okay see i am drawing it here so actual pixel is my consider as a circle okay, and this particular pixel both i am activating this with some blue color okay, then this particular pixel is activated getting me so this particular pixel is activated so this is my activation and this is the addressable point okay now in this particular case if you are looking to this such diagram or such line which is from a to b just look at this particular diagram okay so here i consider the line is from a to b this line i want to draw okay now obviously i will activate the first pixel is this one the second pixel is this third pixel is this now here we are i am having the choice okay if you find out this particular pixel especially this pixel the line will passes from this pixel but it is not covering the complete part of the pixel getting me it is not covering the complete part of the pixel so my the question is whether to activate this pixel or not because it is just covering or passing some part of the pixel it is passing from the part of the pixel okay in such a case the process of rasterization is important we have to define now obviously this pixel is activated because it is passing the center of the pixel or the line this is also activated okay again the choice is this is activated this is activated again this is activated now the question is whether to activate this or not so finding out i repeat it again the process of determining which pixel to be activated Okay, or approximate the pixel which is the best pixel so that it will gives me the complete line this will show me the complete line now in this case suppose i activate this pixel what will happen you can find the jagged line okay so i just draw the lines something like this okay in this case so now what i am considering here okay, in this particular case is suppose i am drawing this line okay i know that this is my very straight line okay now this is my Look at this. This is the straight line. Okay, but jag line means I am having something like which is displayed like this. It is having some point. Okay, again it will be continued some more. Now these cases. Okay, so this is the case. This particular is considered as the jag line. Okay, which are not the exactly straight line. And this may be generated if I activate the pixel. You can find it here. My line is coming like like this. Okay, but here is I activate this. It will be going up direction and something like this. Okay. now such cases should be avoided okay in the process of the rasterization okay so that's why we can say your rasterization will help us to determine which is the best pixel to be activated okay on the path of the line okay so this is what the rasterization okay let us move to the next point okay now under the point rasterization okay the second point that we are considering is the rendering Okay. Actually, in the, this is in unit number one. We are just considering what is the basic of the rendering. Okay, but if it is required, we will go into the detail. 
okay but now we just understand what is mean by the process of rendering we have learned what is mean by rasterization and now we learn what is mean by the rendering process now you just like look at the definition is the rendering or image synthesis this is also known as the image synthesis so rendering is the process of generating a photo elastic or not photo elastic or non photo elastic image from 2d or 3d model by means of a computer program okay now the meaning of this is okay what we are going to do is we are say that we have to render render the image okay means generating the photo elastic or whatever the image that we are having in any form from the 2d or the 3d model okay and for that we required some algorithm so we required some method or the program and whatever the uh, image a resulting image is known as the render is okay, so rendered image okay now we just look at the in detail definition now what we are considering when the pre image okay, generally for the rendering okay, for the rendering purpose what we required we required a wire frame sketch that's why i have underlined this wire frame sketch usually is used now here if i look at this diagram okay, if you are looking this particular diagram this diagram we are considering now this is considered as a wire frame image okay so it is not having any color which is filled with this it is not having any other okay the details of it but it is a wire frame image okay you might have seen the whenever the car is designed you can find that there is a wire frame image of the car there is a wire frame image of aircraft plane okay or maybe it any product okay we are first considering the wire frame for example if i am considering see look at this cube okay the now i am just mentioning this part and which is called as the wire frame image this is similarly the another example of the wire frame image now when a pre image now what is my pre image means wire frame image okay is complete rendering is used which adds now with the help of rendering what we are going to do it adds in the bitmap texture or procedural texture lights bump mapping and relative position to the other object okay so it is generally used okay in the form of adding something so adding some color to that particular image so we should have the pre image as a wire frame image okay the result is in this case the result is a completed image the consumer or intended viewer sees okay so from that we will get the continued image now to understand this we will move to the next slide where we can see with the help of the graph also okay that how it will has shown okay okay now all of you can look at this okay so before i just go through this i want everyone to look at this this is my pre image i consider this as a pre image or the wire sketch image that i am having where i am having the different objects okay and now in the rendering part okay and in the process of rendering what we can find that yes i want to have want to fill these images okay or the object with the color so you can find it as the initial color is given okay, with the different object then again the changes has made to the color okay and then again we are going to process these images okay generally we can say this is the rendered image which is our consider as a final output of the image okay so this diagram shows how the rendering has happened okay now in the part of rendering okay generally we go for as we have learned the concept of the scan line okay we are scanning or we are going to activate the pixel or consider the pixel from a single row okay which is the scan line okay but this approach is little bit slower okay but because we if we go for the scan line or we can go for the row by row okay as we are having suppose in our diagram or in our resolution we are having 480 rows if i am having then i need to scan all this 480 rows one by one okay generally it is called as so that's why we are having this description is written a pixel by pixel approach okay we call it as pixel by pixel approach or the scan line by scan line one scan line at a time now this approach to the rendering is not practical impractical or it is too slow okay for rendering if i go for the scan line or pixel by pixel it will too slow from some task then what we have to do is we switch over to or in the rendering generally we use the primitive by primitive generally it is called as the object order okay so we consider this scan line image object by object okay primitive by primitive or object order approach is to use rendering is used so rendering generally uses the object order or it uses the instead of image order it will uses the object order okay generally it is called as primitive by primitive and image order is known as pixel by pixel instead of going for pixel by pixel we go for 
primitive by primitive or object order okay so here one loop through each of the object mean instead of going through the one row or the scan line one loop through the each of the object determine which is the effects okay so suppose that i consider my first object is i consider my one first loop will scan this particular object this is my one object i will find out this is suppose my second object is this this is my second object this is my third object this is my fourth object i think somewhere you can find this object is there if one more object is there exist over here okay that we are considering as another object so here we loop through each of the object determine which pixel in the image it affects and modify those pixel accordingly okay so i just goes on changing its color changing its texture and so on okay and modify those pixel accordingly this is called rasterization but that's why we are having this both the point rasterization and rendering this is called rasterization and is the rendering method used by all the current graphics software or graphics packages okay so now in this case the rasterization is used okay, we are using the rasterization in the rendering but here the best option that we are going to follow or we are going to use is not image order not pixel by pixel but we go for the object order or one object at a time will be scanned and then we are going to change the color of it change the texture of it and finally we will get this image as our rendered image so this image is called as a rendered image this first image we are calling it as the our initial image or the pre image which is the wireframe okay and by changing the background color object color texture of the color or the texture of the object we will get this okay so this is what the point we consider as the rasterization and rendering okay so with this okay uh, i say thank you to you all okay next lecture we continue with the next discussion thank you